Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. Now let's get into today's video. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Crossing the Line. We'll get into this story here, but I'll give you a heads up. It is a bit gruesome. It is pretty messed up, as you can probably see by the uh, title. But um, this definitely needs to be reported on and brought out into the light because it keeps happening. It seems to be coming out and happening more, more and more often. I don't know whether it's just uh, media outlets are picking up on it. But uh, we had a similar case here in Australia um, recently with two teachers. And um, any time that this happens, I think that these people really need to have the maximum sentence. Um, people used to say that we'd turn them into fertilizer. And I think, uh, I think that there's some gardens that need fertilizing. Now... Um, We'll take a look at this story here from the New York Post and we'll get straight into it. Gay couple charged with molesting their adopted son also pimp them out to a pedophile ring report claims. A gay couple from Georgia charged with molesting their two adopted sons and using them to record child pornography also allegedly pimped them out to members of a local pedophile ring according to a disturbing new report. A month-long investigation by Town Hall revealed that William Dale Zulock, 33, and Zachary Jacob Zulock, 35, allegedly used their social media to prostitute their two elementary-aged sons. William Zulock, a government worker, and Zachary Zulock, a banker, were indicted in August 2022 on charges of incest, aggravated sodomy, aggravated child molestation, felony sexual exploitation of children, and felony prostitution of a minor. But the shocking investigation reveals in more detail the sickening abuse of the boys suffered. For the first time, it was revealed that the men allegedly pimped out their older sons, now 11 and 9 years old, and to two other men in a pedophile ring. One of the men, Hunter Clay Lawless, 27, told investigators that Zachary, whose Instagram bio describes him as Papa to our two wonderful boys and an activist, invited him to multiple times to take part in sexually abusing the boys town hall reported now um if you're wondering where this is story is from it's from the new york post so i'm shocked and surprised that they're actually reporting on this at all in general um and this is not the first time and it won't be the last this happens now i did a report a couple of months ago to teachers pretty much doing the same thing. Um, when is it going to end? These are the people that are pushing for all this exploration of a sexual kind to children in schools way before their time. I mean, they're grooming children for people like this, for things like this. Now, it's not saying it's it's not even just gay people. It's straight people, everyone from all walks of life. You'd be surprised to know just how many pedophiles and people like that are in your local area. I mean, if we actually come up with the list that we uh, the people are pushing for so that they can be exposed and a map of pretty much where they are, like the heavens at the States, we'd be shocked and disgusted at the amount of people that are close to you or either physically or as a family member or something like that that are doing things like this or that have been charged with doing things like this now um we'll keep reading here but just bear in mind that um these guys were activists pushing the uh lgbtq agenda this is why places like gays uh, things like gays against groomers have popped up because there is such a massive outcry from the lgbtq community that they do not want groomers and people like this in their ranks i mean who would and i do not see why large media and uh, government authorities are pushing for this to be acceptable they're pushing for it in schools with disgusting books that kids shouldn't be allowed to read they're pushing for it in disney movies they're pushing for it in all sorts of 
media that children have access to to try to normalize sexuality of children balenciaga issue uh it just doesn't end it's everywhere you look it's what it's always rich famous and powerful people that are pushing this agenda and then you have people like these two scumbags that they start their own little pedophile ring with their own adopted children now i don't know how we stop it without mass amounts of violence and um hopefully that these two people get treated the way that they deserve to be and we all know what deserves to happen to them however lawless claimed he had never had physical contact with either child lawless also claimed zachary sent him multiple messages on snapchat including one that allegedly read i'm going to f my son tonight stand by along with the images of himself sexually abusing the 11 year old according to the outlet that's disgusting the two men were arrested on charges of soliciting an act of prostitution with the 11 year old boy according to the indictment it is unclear whether lawless armando vicario sanchez had any physical interactions with the boy the zoolox who lived in oxford an affluent suburb in atlanta adopted the children from a christian special needs adoption agency the boys were the third and fourth grades where their adoptive fathers were arrested last summer there are special needs kids too that just really uh it's going to be a nice nice uh warm place for these two in hell if hell exists and i hope it does for people like this deputies responded to the reports that a man was downloading child pornography raided home in loganville where they found evidence the pair were engaging in sexually abusive acts and video documenting this abuse police said at the time during the raid william was pulled out of his home naked the government worker has admitted to forcing one of his sons to perform oral sex on him with the intent to satisfy his own sexual desire according to a sworn affidavit cited by the daily wire his husband admitted sending child sex abuse materials to several people according to the news outlet the couple have been active on the local lgbtq community prominent lgbtq commu uh, publication out magazine reportedly asked to feature their photos on its website according to the daily wire Tan Hall said it spent months reviewing the recorded jailhouse calls, court documents, a testimony from a relative who spoke exclusively, exclusively with the outlet about the extent of the abuse as well as the faster than expected adoption process that led to the nightmare. William and Zachary, who have pleaded not guilty, face over nine life sentences in convicted. Nine life sentences. Nine life sentences is not enough. Not that it matters. I mean... What do you do with people like that? What are you legally allowed to do with people like that? That Those kids are forever traumatized and messed up. And you look at these photos where these monsters are posing to pretty much sell their propaganda. And look, I don't know how often this happens in families, uh, whether it's a normal heterosexual family or a gay family or anything like that it happens way too often and it has always happened and pretty much always will happen we need to crack down on these people especially when it gets to the extent where they're starting their own ring of pedophiles i mean it what they're doing in their own home was bad enough and then they're going and making other people letting other people do it as well I don't know what kind of messed up people how do they find each other as well like these two blokes obviously found each other on the internet somewhere or whatever and they had they were like-minded and um it makes you wonder whether it says there that the uh adoption process was really uh faster than expected so you wonder whether uh whoever was adopting them out was um in on it or um yeah these um yeah it wouldn't be surprised people who are in on it with the adoption agency or whether they're just doing it because they want to uh, they want brownie points for giving a gay couple children 
I don't know, adopting kids, these kids of orphans or whatever their circumstances were beforehand, uh, they obviously suffered enough being in the welfare, uh, being in the um, orphanage system or whatever it is in the US there, especially two of them. And um, there's a new hell waiting for them when they got to their adoptive parents. So uh, there is a politician in the US calling uh, for the firing line to be brought back in for these two so they can be shot at the stake, I would say. I think that's a little too quick. I'm sure there's um, I'm sure there's other ways, slower ways that this can be done and I hope that they find justice in prison. I hope that when they get sentenced and they go to prison for their nine consecutive lifetime sentences that they find justice in prison rather quickly. And um, I hope that it's slow and painful. What do you do? I mean, this is why groups like Gays Against Groomers exist, because they do not want to be tarred with the same brush as these people. And that's what it's going to do. If they get away with crap like this, and they're the ones who are out there pushing this agenda, I mean, look at everything there love my family yeah yeah so their activism it makes you wonder whether um a lot of these people pushing for these drag shows and kids story hour and all crap like that they're thinking the same thing and i guarantee you there's a lot of them that are because i cannot see any reason why a child should be in a drag show that is adult entertainment there's nothing wrong with drag shows they're fun they're great the drag queens are hilarious but children should not be involved in that i wouldn't take a child to a strip show it's illegal in fact i don't know why i would let a stripper read a storybook to a child in a library or at school or whatever that is not what they're for. They're adult entertainment. You wouldn't let a porn star read books to children, would you? Knowingly, and that's what they're there for, and that's what they get asked about. They're not just there as a normal person. They're there as, like, someone to answer all the questions for the kids, and then the kids are prompted to ask them questions. It's disgusting. And the leftist media and the lgbt machine that keeps pushing this crap onto children and force feeding it down our throats and expecting us to tolerate this kind of stuff it's not going to happen there will be blood in the streets before this is accepted and the people who are pushing it they're going to be the ones losing the blood and there's going to be untold carnage from this because people don't mess around when it comes to their kids if you go near people's kids you will see the wrath of god come down upon you i remember that um story where that father had his his son was kidnapped by their karate instructor and the karate instructor molested the boy over a couple of days they end up getting the boy back thank god and um on his way I believe it was through an airport or something like that. The father was hiding in the crowd on the payphone, turned around and blew the guy's brains out all over the floor, right in full view of all the police and everyone. And uh, he didn't go to jail for it, thankfully. It makes you wonder uh, what these poor kids here with no parents and then the people who adopt them do that to them, uh, what kind of lives they're going to have and whether they're going to commit suicide because of what the terrible things that have happened to them. I mean, the first people that go and pretend to show love to them and care for them do those horrific things to them. And I think doing those things to them can breed and create more of those kind of people, which is an evil on its own. So sorry about the uh, bit of a rough story there, but I think it's uh, I think it's a uh, pretty... Uh, pretty important that these things are pointed out when they get pointed out and that people see them because it's trending at the moment it just keeps happening it keeps happening i mean elon musk's takeover of twitter he got rid of child pornography off of there in a few days and twitter just allowed it for years for 
however long Twitter's been up, they've been allowing it. Why do they allow it? I mean, Facebook, I'm sure there's groups that they use with Facebook or Messenger and WhatsApp and things like that where these people are in there and that Facebook and all that would know about it and they just do not do anything about it. So I think it's about time we start cracking down on these things. There's great groups out there like Gaze Against Groomers. You can go and follow them on Twitter, um, donate to their cause. They are trying to stop stuff like this from happening and stop stuff like this from being viewed as socially acceptable and um, normal because we all know they want to add a P onto the LGBTQ. So... Go and check out Gays Against Groomers there on Twitter. Uh, like their content, follow them, talk to those guys, donate to them if you can because these people are actually out there trying to help people like this, help kids like this and stop this from happening. And we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching another episode of uh, Crossing the Line. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hotel, we won retribution!